Hello friends, welcome back you my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to tell you about property insurance. Property insurance provides protection against most risks to property, such as fire, theft and some weather damage. This includes specialized forms of insurance such as fire insurance, flood insurance, earthquake insurance, home insurance, or boiler insurance. Property is insured in two main ways, open perils and named perils. Open perils cover all the causes of loss not specifically excluded in the policy. Common exclusions on open peril policies include damage resulting from earthquakes, floods, nuclear incidents, acts of terrorism, and war. Named perils require the actual cause of loss to be listed in the policy for insurance to be provided. The more common named perils include such damage causing events as fire, lightning, explosion, cyber attack, and theft. Property insurance is a type of insurance that provides financial protection for property owners against the loss or damage to their property. It typically covers buildings, homes, and their contents, but can also include other types of property, such as machinery, equipment, and personal belongings. Property insurance policies usually provide coverage for a range of perils, including fire, theft, vandalism, natural disasters, such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and floods and other specified risks. The specific coverage and exclusions will depend on the terms and conditions of the insurance policy. Property insurance can be divided into two main categories. Homeowners insurance. This type of insurance is designed for individuals who own residential properties, such as houses or apartments. Homeowners insurance typically covers the structure of the home, personal belongings, and liability protection in case someone is injured on the property. Commercial property insurance. This category of insurance is for businesses that own commercial properties. It provides coverage for buildings, equipment, inventory, and other assets that are essential for the operation of the business. When purchasing property insurance, it is important to carefully review the policy terms, coverage limits, deductibles, and any exclusions or limitations. The cost of the insurance premium will depend on various factors, including the type of property, its location, the level of coverage, and the insured's claims history. In the event of a covered loss or damage to the insured property, the policyholder can file a claim with their insurance company to receive compensation for the repair, replacement, or rebuilding costs, up to the limits specified in the policy. In the United States, property insurance claims are typically handled by the insurance companies that provide the coverage. When a property owner experiences a loss or damage covered by their property insurance policy, they can initiate the claims process to seek compensation for their losses. Here are the general steps involved in property insurance claims in the U.S. Report the loss, as soon as possible after the loss or damage occurs. The policyholder should contact their insurance company to report the incident. Most insurance companies have a dedicated claims department that handles these reports. The policyholder will need to provide details about the loss, such as the date, time, and cause of the incident. Documentation. The insurance company will typically require the policyholder to provide documentation to support their claim. This may include photographs or videos of the damaged property a detailed inventory of the items lost or damaged, repair estimates, and any relevant receipts or invoices. Claims Adjuster The insurance company may assign a claims adjuster to assess the damage and estimate the cost of repairs or replacement. The adjuster will schedule a visit to the property to inspect the damage and evaluate the claim. They will also review the policy terms and conditions to determine the coverage and applicable deductibles. Claims Settlement once the claims adjuster completes their evaluation, they will work with the policyholder to determine the settlement amount. The settlement may cover the repair or replacement costs, as well as any additional expenses or loss of use incurred due to the incident. The insurance company will provide a written statement outlining the settlement terms. Resolution If the policyholder agrees with the settlement offer, they can accept it and the insurance company will process the payment. In some cases, there may be room for negotiation if the policyholder believes the settlement amount is insufficient. If the parties cannot reach a satisfactory resolution, the policyholder may seek legal advice or mediation to resolve the dispute. 
It's important for policyholders to review their insurance policy and understand the coverage and exclusions before filing a claim. Additionally, keeping thorough documentation of their property and belongings can help streamline the claims process and ensure a fair settlement. Share the video as much as you can for more such interesting information and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.